Using light to make weed seeds sterile may seem far out, but maybe no more so than the idea of spraying chemicals on weeds 100 years ago. Global Neighbors John Jackson discussed the concept during a presentation that kicked off the Ag Launch program at this year's Mid-South Farm and Gin Show. The show was held virtually due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm John Jackson from Global Neighbor in Dayton, Ohio. As a company, we developed directed energy floral control. That means we use light to kill weeds and make weed seeds non-viable. We kill the weeds when they're seeds. So even a small number of weeds at the wrong time reduces yields and lowers profits. The rapid increase of herbicide resistant weeds is further adding to profit pressures. Just in the US, herbicide resistance costs farmers $2 billion a year, and this cost keeps increasing. And what we're doing today is making long-term weed control worse. Here are some examples of the 258 herbicide resistant weeds all of which are causing a big problem. These weed seeds, as well as many others, are non-shattered and go through the combine only to be spread all over the field. This is happening to grain farmers all across the US. Our solution to help is the weed seed destroyer. And, and this is how it works. The left image is an illustration of the combine's thrasher and separator section with the back being the sieves. The waste output from the sieves is chaff containing the separated weed seeds. We take the chaff, run it through our directed energy weed seed destroyer, and when we blow the treated chaff back in the field, the seeds will not become weeds. The weed seed destroyer will be an important tool in the fight against escape weeds and herbicide resistant weeds, both today and into the future. We've completed our scaled prototype, and when we run chaff containing palmer amaranth and other weed seeds through it, we make greater than 90% of the weed seeds non-viable. We aren't the only ones who have recognized that harvest weed seed control is important, but we have the best solution. There are chaff mills from Australia that grind up the chaff, creating a cloud of dust that gets into air cleaners and disrupts the normal, visual, uh, normal operation and loads the engine. Of course, herbicides are what farmers are mostly doing today, and that's making things worse in the long run. Our weed seed destroyer is an elegant way of making weed seeds non-viable. It's easy to use, operates independently from the combine, so there's no warranty issues, and does not create any maintenance issues for the farmer. Our simple, easy to use solution is a large market opportunity, both globally and in the US. The Weed Seed Destroyer is a solution to help solve a universal problem among grain farmers that's getting worse. Our initial target uh, market includes farmers experiencing severe herbicide resistant weeds and organic farmers who are in need of solutions for chemical free weed control. We will sell the Weed Seed Destroyer through the existing Ag Dealer Network. We have an experienced team of skilled engineers who develop the directed energy technology and commercialized products from it. This team is supported by a group of farmers who are dedicating their time and effort to advise us. Also, we have a product on the market that uses our directed energy for killing weeds around your house. It's called the Weed Erase, and you can buy it online at Sharp Image. Home Depot and many other locations. But what we really want to do is introduce solutions that help farmers control weeds. The Weed Seed Destroyer is our first product aimed at positively impacting farmer profits. So as a leader in the ag market, I'm inviting you to become part of our journey. If you're interested in offering product input, conducting a field trial, or seeing an investor pitch this summer, please send an email to me or to AgLaunch. We can do what no one else can. We stop the weeds when they're seeds. Thank you for your time.